Maybe you guys should go watch them and like them like and maybe subscribe. And also, you could Share. follow us. On <laughs> <laughs> that was pr- I need a high five. <laughs> that was awesome. None of that was planned. That was all improvised. <laughs> Let's go with the flow, man. Oh yeah, most definitely. Aki, what's what's the, what's the um, announcements? E three. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. So, next week we will not be doing a podcast. Everybody frown. Mm, instead, we will just be doing, what is Updates. it? Updates. By the minute. Stuff. While I'm at work, I might get in trouble, but I don't care. You shouldn't do that. Whatever. No. Can't hold me down. Why y'all get quiet? That was weird. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're not going to actually have a podcast until after E3 is done. Up until then, everything that we find, we'll be trying to get deliver to, deliver to you as soon as we get word of it. Um, so, keep your eyes and ears open. Watch the Facebook page, and we will get back to you guys afterwards. Maybe I can get okay. you guys some funny reaction pictures, too, <laughs> God. to how some of these presenters look. Or how some of these presenters are speaking. That, too. Some of them have funny accents. The- <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell that was a little bit racist there, son of. It wasn't at all. I'm also talking about people in the States, too, that don't live in the Midwest. Can we get a Midwestern uh, developer to go up there? Yeah, so you know the new uh, the new game that we got coming out there uh, is called Sausage Party Fav. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a coincidentally sounds like the name of a gay porno, but, you know... It's actually right. going to be the best game we ever made. It's the first installment, but we're calling it Sausage Party Fav. <laughs> so what's the next one? So Maybe come six, on down to GameStop and put it in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm I sorry. Oh, all of those are, I, I, are I listening. <laughs> it's okay, Simon. I'm glad I don't sound like that. <laughs> That's too up north. Right. Isn't it funny that our north is like the south? 
<laughs> oh my god, I slightly take offense to that. <laughs> not south south, not like Atlanta south, but like deep south, like Everglades, Florida south. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Florida, why are you still around? You call me Madam Aki? Any other announcements? <laughs> you call me Madam Aki? You better take it and run with it. My fan girl feels... What the fuck? I don't, okay. I don't get it. Uh, I no, I don't have any more announcements. All that just to say no more announcements. Holy crap. Just guys, remember, like, comment, subscribe, share, YouTube page, Facebook page, Twitter, Twitch, and pay attention next week because we're going to be trending with all the stuff that we're going to be posted from E3. We're going to keep you up to date between all of us here at Nikana, even the ones that are not speaking on the mic. We will make sure that we keep you up to date on everything. If you miss it, we got it. Just come to the page, watch it, like it, do whatever to your heart's content. Just I'm continue to support. This up later, but if there, if the last card is given a, a solid release date, not a not a release time, not a period, but a date, I'm getting sure face drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we will record Sano for everybody. Please don't. That's going to be embarrassing for everybody involved. Oh, Depending sure. on how many months it is away, that's how many shots you're taking. Lord, I'm going to die. You if are going to die. <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a year, it's just twelve shots. Just twelve? Yeah. Dude, I'm a, okay. <laughs> Would you rather that or how many years is gonna has been since they announced it? Oh God, no. That's actually less. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, I somehow feel like I somehow feel like that's gonna be twisted against my favor. So actually, no, it's like ten the to the, the ten to the twelve. Twelve years. That's yeah. how. That's how we're gonna. No, it's been like ten years since they announced it. That and Final Fantasy fifteen, thirteen versus. So, so si- those had dates. So, that kept getting pushed back. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm saying, like, they both were premiered in 2006. Anyway, the point is, is that if Last Guardian gets a release date, Sano will take a shot for each month until it comes out. Well, for every month. For every. We'll figure it out later. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> Shall we begin? Yeah. I'll go first. Anybody want to bring me in? Nope. <laughs> no one want to give me sound effects. For my what's, new- on, what's on the news today? Let me turn on the TV. <laughs> this time on the news with. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue. Would you imagine if like reporters actually did that? Like they were looking at you, just turn it off, <laughs> just destroy his fucking face. Excuse you. <laughs> you you cut that TV back on. <laughs> no no no. This is Newscast of Vox with the news. Blizzard and Facebook will be pairing up to allow streaming to the social media giant Facebook. Last month, Blizzard announced a partnership with Facebook's to br- Facebook's to bring. Uh, no, let's try it again. Take two with Facebook to bring e- esports broadcasting to 1.6 1.6 million users, billion users. There excuse me, I cannot talk. <clears throat> With this, making use of your Facebook to access your battle.net dot, uh, battle dot net games comes with a couple of interesting perks. Live stream your Blizzard gaming sessions directly to your Facebook timeline. Friends that you can subscribe to your live, sc- live stream events. A notification to subscribers when new streams become available. So it's just adding another platform for esports enthusiasts, uh, esports competitors, and... Everybody in between to get to have yet another platform to connect to those fans. We are definitely excited for that. I was for, wondering when event or like when Facebook was going to open up their whole live thing to 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 make to streaming games. It seemed like one of those things that almost seems second like nature, especially since you know everybody's trying to do it now. Twitch, YouTube, Daily Motion, some other ones that I can't remember right now. The daily motion is weird because every time I go there, I only see obscure videos of like shit that it's like YouTube for international. Every time I go on there, I don't see anything that's like relevant to anything. Eh. So but it's just another outlet. I just my thing is just is like, is this going to be the start of like other outlets then of other games being able to be streamed to Facebook, or is this just going to be uh, a Blizzard thing for now? I guess at that point, only time can really tell. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I did mention this like two weeks ago. Did you? 
Yeah, I was talking to you about it. Way to remember. Stay out of it. I was like, oh, I think we can stream to Facebook. You're like, really? I'm like, maybe. Where did that conversation go? Like, it just stopped that you it said maybe, like, didn't it? It seemed I like remember. that was it. That's, yeah, that's what <laughs> I feel like it was. I remember. You want me to remember that, one, like, those, that two sentence. You remember all the random shit, so. Staying out of it. Like that big ass spider that somehow came out the vacuum. Yeah, I smushed it. Yeah, it was, that was weird. I was more amazed than like terrified as I should have been. Anyway, <laughs> next piece of news: Rock Band Four June update. This month, Rock Band Four or Harmonics, Harmonics, excuse me, practice makes perfect. Harmonics will be releasing the practice mode for Rock Band Four. So you can practice as much to your heart content as you did on previous assist, or previous installments of the game. With that, other get other songs will be released this month, ranging from Blues Travelers, My Chemical Romance, Google Goo Dolls, Magic Dragons, The Killers, Magic, Three Days Killers. Grace, Toto, yes, okay. Toto, Iris, Radioactive, Runaways, Rude, A Home in Africa. Concerning those songs, ooh, Africa. <laughs> I really love that song by Toto. I might have to get Rock Band for it just because of that song. Or, 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 come to your place of residence, Sano, and sing it. Eh. <laughs> Get that mic lit. Lord. Burn it on fire. How could you not? <laughs> and I'm just going to add one more thing because neither one of us is going to talk about it. I just want to reiterate this month, uh, this month of June, Street Fighter f- uh, the Story Mode and Ibuki will be releasing late at the end of this month. So keep your eye out for that. Yes. I just want Sakura. We time. will get there. I think. And then I'll make my debut on Fight Me. That is <laughs> newscast of Vox with the news. <laughs> okay, let me turn the shit off. Got <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> what's what's wrong, guys? What happened? I nothing. missed it. I walked out the room. What happened? Nothing. Hmm. Did you turn the TV on? No. No. Oh. Why is it warm? Why are you feeling I don't know because it farted. Jesus. TVs can fart? Yes. Mm. They know they had a digestive system. Liar. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> Weatherman Sano. No. No. No, no, no. He no. brings you the sunny day afternoon. Me and Sunny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> First and foremost, something that breaks my heart. Um, Ukulele got delayed. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ukulele is a game. Spiritual Succession to Banjo, Banjo-Kazooie is being made by X-Rare developers. Um, they made a uh, <clears throat> development studio called Platonics. It was a Kickstarter project and uh, turned into a full-fledged game. Um, it was supposed to be released in October this year, but now it's being slated for sometime next year, 2017. Don't know. That's all they said. Game looks great. I want to play it, but unfortunately, I have to wait. So, shit. Um, next, something that makes me happy. Sunshine. No. Um, um, back when Overwatch was uh, getting ready to be released, uh, Blizzard gave out a warning to anyone who decided that they were going to cheat in the game. Said one strike and that's it. Boom. Uh, and it looks like that they are very, very serious about that. About that. Could you warning. say? Could you say that justice reigned from above? I hate you so much. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bungie just not Bungie. Sorry, Blizzard <laughs> went on a massive banning spree um, across various regions. Anyone that was found using any sort of aim bots or any sort of um, um, cheating software, which is apparently very easy to come by, have um, been met with messages saying that their account has been banned and they're no longer able to play the game. This has even spanned across multiple copies of the game. You have people flying to um to a message board saying, Hey, I just bought this uh up just bought this game, it's not letting me play it. Um they're getting banned within days of buying a new copy and this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> um I feel like every every developer, everyone should take note of this because if you just if you have people that are taking advantage of something maliciously, of course, and all you do is patch it up with no penalty, they're just going to keep doing shit. So, in order to keep your uh, in order to keep your competitive your competitive scene, you know, 
as clean as possible, you have to get rid of the people who don't care about it at all. At least that's the way that's the way I think. I don't think I don't think uh, Blizzard's gonna nerf that at all. Oh God, no! Don't just keep <laughs> this shit up. I mean, of course they have a way of um, <clears throat> you have you have a way of disputing your case if you think you're being fa- uh, falsely banned from the uh, from the system. Nine times in ten, you're not just being a white. I'm just time. glad. I'm Sorry, just. I'm just. Word. I'm just glad heroes never die. Oh my absolute god. You didn't notice the other one I just said, so I just thought I'd keep going until you did. I hate you. Fire in the hole. And uh, I just <laughs> uh. <laughs> So those are some quick things I want to bring up and now for something that I have been keeping my eye on. Um sorry guys, I got more Bendy news. Sports with Sano. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> now on the street with Sano. Uh, that's worse. What's on the street today, Sano? I hate What's you. What's so the much. word on the bird, f- surfer? I will slaughter you. Um, so, um, bad news, kind of, I guess. I don't know. For I mean, who? You know it's bad for, news. For, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't even play. You know it's bad news. Nothing about you, Vivendi, and Ubisoft is anywhere near good news. Ah. All of its badness. But who is the bad news for? Uh, Game Loft. Who? The Game Loft, if you guys remember, is a subsidiary of, uh, of Ubisoft. Oh, I remember oh. that. I'm just like, where did they come from? For a while, um, Vivendi has been targeting Game Loft. A lot of people have been speculating <laughs> that they're going, they went after Game Loft to use as a bargaining chip for the bigger company, Ubisoft. Well, and they finally got them. Game over. They, Damn. <laughs> Damn. they ended up getting. 61.7 shares of the company before they, before they actually t- uh, took it over. Kaiba taught me all you need is 51% to win. Uh, yeah, okay. They, they went above and beyond. <laughs> uh, they opened up negotiations for anybody who wants, to sell their, uh, who wants to sell their shares afterwards, but they already got it. Um, Michael Gu- uh, Guillemot is stepping down as of the 29th, and then uh, Vivendi is going to take ownership of the company. They're going to um, uh, replace him with, uh, with a new CEO. Um, we have people are speculating that uh, Michael is actually going to join his brother as um, who's the leader who is the CEO, standing CEO of, uh, of Ubisoft, and try to fortify that um, that company's defenses against Vivendi. So as of right now, things are not looking good for him. Here, take this. I'm going to join my brother on the front line. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> I'm out. It's not like take this. They took it. Deuce. <laughs> so, in the next coming months, years, Ubisoft might have a new owner. Dun, dun, as dun. of right now, things are not going in their favor. And you keep reporting on it. Of course I will, because it's funny. <laughs> Good, maybe they actually make a quality game. Hey, 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 maybe. <laughs> I don't know, though. Because it's not like Vivendi has uh, has the best track uh, record in in gaming at all. Look You're at what happened with them on Activision. <laughs> They're gonna fuck up shit. Yep. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> it looks the like fall of Ubisoft. Looks You're like for here first. Why? Maybe oh, Ubisoft will die, die, die. Another relic of the past, and eventually. Fox. No. I'm gonna need you to stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? You didn't hear you me. You are missing everything that he's been saying. I said, I said that Ubisoft will die, die, die. That hurts. Overwatch. That I know. <laughs> you said it at least five things. I wasn't paying attention to him. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got some quick mentions of some interesting news that I saw that I felt that should be mentioned. No. <laughs> Business news with Aki. Uh, no. <laughs> Tell us about the profitable. Oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> profitable news. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> right off the bat, Overwatch has recruited seven million players the first week of its release. That is huge because that's just as much as the amount of people that they had for the beta, which I believe it was like nine. Slightly less. It was slightly less than what they have, but still, it's still an impressive number. And it's still growing. 
Yeah. What, the game has been over, what, three weeks? Two, two three weeks? Well, you also got to remember, too, that's pretty good for a game that cost $60. The beta was free. True. Yep. So. That's that's something else. And also, well, uh, also very good for a brand new IP. Exactly. Something that Blizzard hasn't really done before. Not in a while, at least. Yeah, exactly. And it's mostly just sticking with Diablo and uh, fucking World wow. of Warcraft. Yep. So that was a big part of Overwatch news. And then also, Odin Spear lit. Lithrasir? Notice for The remake of the PS2 version of Odin Spear came out June 7th. It looks pretty as fuck. It's for the PS3. I know, right? An old relic. PS3, PS4, and the Vita. What? They are giving life to the Vita. Yeah, okay. Phoenix down, go! Anyway. <sighs> um, And as you guys may have noticed, if you've been following us on our Facebook page... Alice in Road has been canceled. Sad news because I was actually interested in that game. Nope. Can you believe that? That's like the most scariest game I've ever seen, and I want to play it. Well, it's just gonna be banned in Australia anyway. <laughs> True. <laughs> but I mean, we don't talk about Australia because they have things that can kill you that normally shouldn't kill you. Head spiders. Yes. Kangaroos. Kangaroos. Kangaroos are awesome until they, ca- until they catch hold of your ass. The- <laughs> <laughs> Put you in a chokehold. Mm-hmm. Break your neck. Anyway. Have you seen and- a kangaroo fight? Oh, Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the March of Crabs. That is fucking terrifying. I have no idea what that is. That's when the uh, road runs red with crabs. Mating huh. season. Interesting. It's, it's gross. But anyway... Um, there's no statement for Allison Road yet. Um, that was posted, um, uh, June 6th, I believe. <clears throat> but I'm keeping my eye on that because I really want to know why they canceled it because it looked like it had so much potential. <sighs> no, we don't get... attacked by Konami. <laughs> like, we don't get PT, now we don't get Allison Road. Right? I would've actually played that. I mean, I would've... I would've have to... Used the bathroom before, <laughs> but I would have played it. Weird diaper. Weird <laughs> adult diaper. Uh, yes. <clears throat> okay. I have no standing comment, nor do I have a sitting one. But you are sitting, <laughs> and you just commented. So what the fuck is the? Where is the lie? It's Nazi Mars. Shut up. <laughs> okay, children. Hey. <laughs> On with my news. Okay, so I guess it's kind of like a mention too. So Jamie Lee Curtis is known for cosplaying. She's cosplayed before. And wait, before you if you don't know who Jamie Lee Curtis is, she starred in a majority of the Halloween movies and Freaky Friday. I forgot all about that. I read the book. Which one? What are you talking about? Like Freaky Friday. Oh, okay. Friday. Okay. I thought you mean like there was some film adaption of Halloween or some shit. I wouldn't read that shit. Anyway, um she's known for cosplaying. Um she attended BlizzardCon one year, and she dressed up as, what is it, one of the Undead Forsaken characters from WoW, and she dressed up again for the WoW premiere, and she screamed at Leroy Jenkins with a group of fans, and Beautiful. I thought that was amazing. They're, cut. they're actually talking about they're going to put that in a movie or not, or if that's going to be in a movie. I don't know. Maybe you should like go to the movies and watch it and tell us about it. Sana, you think it's worth it? What? For us to go see that? What? World of Warcraft? Uh, I haven't been hearing really good things about it. Leroy Jenkins! Stop! Stop! Oh my god! <laughs> that would be one reason not to see it, because I expect at least three people to run into the theater saying that, and that's going to make my paranoia just, sp- just skyrocket. Oh no, Sano! I think I'm at five for Overwatch quotes. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. So, on the side note, at my office, we named our printer, and it's called Leroy Jenkins. Oh, my and God. it throws paper at us, because it does not like us. <laughs> <laughs> Why does your printer throw paper at you? Because it does not like the people in my office. But, I digress. Anyway, um, so, more Overwatch news. <laughs> There is a person by the name of Fenderella KN. 
He is the first known person to reach level 100 in Overwatch. My God. What am I, like, level 11? That's probably because I only I think I'm, like, twice. 16 um, or 17. I think I'm at, like, 5 or 6 or whatever. But it took him 14 hours and 50 minutes to achieve that. But... The crazy thing is, is that he's been playing the game at least for thirteen hours a day. What? So that doesn't that make sense. So he has a Twitch streaming account, obviously, and he's been streaming his um, plays with friends and whatnot. And his most recent one, which was posted May thirtieth, I believe, has him reaching that one hundred level mark. And it was a streaming of 14 hours and 50 minutes. So he played for almost 15 hours straight with friends. Uh, no. I couldn't do that. I have a job. <laughs> Which made me wonder, does he have a job? Probably not. Not if he's on Twitch. He's probably being sponsored or something. Maybe. He might be sponsored now. But... <clears throat> He has played over 700 matches, and he has about a 51.6% chance of winning. And I Does just he eat? <laughs> he goes rape squad, R-A-P-E. Oh, my God. Random people eating. Mm, Random awesome, awesome people, people eating. eating. The good old days. <laughs> we need to bring that back. Anyway. Eventually. Um, so I just thought that was crazy that this person spent that amount, huge amounts of time into this game that's been out for two weeks to reach 100, or level 100. And also somebody mentioned that there is no level cap in Overwatch. We don't know, well, as of right now, we don't know if there's a level cap in Overwatch. That's to be seen, and I suppose that Fenderella... KN will be the first person to figure that out. Shit, maybe. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, what do you do when you get to the top? You, you watch. And you wait. <laughs> you observe. I wonder what that's going to mean when the ranked matches come out. You go to sleep. I like that idea. <laughs> 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 that's just me, though. Um, <clears throat> then for my last bit of news, another writer has departed slash left the building at another big <coughs> game company. Bye. Basically. Um, so Aaron Lind of Gearbox left. Uh, he was the writer for Battleborn, if you guys remember what that is. Um, <laughs> what? Who? It's so sad. I was watching some of the gameplay of it and it looks terrible. <coughs> I'm sorry Gearbox, but Battleborn is... Not great. Anyway, um, <laughs> so Aaron Lind was, has been at Gearbox since 2013, so he's been there about three years. He's known for writing um, the story for Gears of War, <clears throat> Gears of War 3, Middle Earth, A Shadow of Mordor. And on his Twitter page or t- Twitter account, he mentioned that he has an amazing opportunity in the Pacific Northwest. So... That makes me wonder if he's going to Seattle. Don't say it, Box. <laughs> I say, saw I saw you what? twitch over there. <laughs> say what? I want to know what the, what companies are in Seattle. Like there what's are... happening in Seattle that all these people are going there. there are quite a few. Spots. Sucker punch. Yes. Sucker punch is one. There are quite a few. Like well, over three hundred or so. Uh, Sucker punch. You got Valve, you got Bungie, 343, <clears throat> PopCap, um, more that I probably don't know or I'm not aware of. Uh, the Nintendo ma- has, some, uh, Nintendo has uh, uh, some developers there. Microsoft has more developers there. Of course they do. Uh, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> the material is there. My God, he couldn't resist himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not there, Vox. They're go- Are they're they moving. still moving there? Yes, they're still moving. God damn, material. Did you, did you hear them? Did you see them release a song uh, saying "Made It to Seattle"? No. <laughs> <laughs> that all you saw. I hope they're okay. It's been like it's almost six years since they started moving. I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check in with 
okay, guys, yeah, God damn it. Quite a few, quite a few developers are uh, going on uh, that uh, station there. So who knows where um <clears throat> where this guy's going to wind up? It's really hard to say at this point, especially with so many of the, uh, the ones that I mentioned, like Sucker Punch and Valve, who have not really done anything or said anything about what they're doing. Um, Is that Insomniac or Sucker, Sucker Punch that just released a game for Oc- Oculus? Oculus. Insomniac. Okay. They're releasing a game. Yeah. That's because Sucker Punch... has been busy. That's because Sucker Punch is wa- uh, working on a um, Spider-Man game. I... Who knows what the hell it is? <laughs> <laughs> Valve is too busy giving people discounts on games. You'll see what I mean. The next way to troll people about Half Life Three. Maybe that's what they're doing. <laughs> they I mean, hired this guy every, just to raise. Everyone is going to Valve. That's what's happening, including the writer that left Bioware. She's going to work for Valve. Oh, you God. heard it here first. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have no clue what's going on. We will find out. When they say, hey, we got a new game coming out. And he's like, Mm -hmm. oh, shit, there she is. There's that boy. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Okay, I quit. (laughs) Oh, shit, what up? (laughs) Here comes that boy. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Okay. I quit. I just fucking think like who put this frog on that unicycle? <laughs> I don't know, but they're the greatest person ever. The internet should never change. Oh shit! <laughs> Tumblr. That's why you need to know. It, Here come that Tumblr. boy. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Do we have any more announcements? Nothing I can think of. I mean, the only thing that's really happening besides E three is E three. You guys excited? Yeah. Not really. What do you I'm, think is? I'm with you, so I don't. What do you think is going to be there? It's hard to say. I mean, for the last week, all we've gotten. Keep going. All we've gotten is um. All we've gotten <laughs> is like a bunch of, hey, this is what we think is going to be at E3, or this is what gonna be at E3 or this is what we think is going to and, be said at E3. And then on top, blah, on top of that developers blah, are saying that blah. hey this is what we're gonna be talking about at E3. For example they already started talking about well, Watch Dogs 2 is gonna be shown at E3. So we got an announcement for a new game from Volition so, uh, Vol- Volition Games. If you don't know who they are they're the ones who uh, who was behind Saints Row. They're releasing another game that's gonna be shown at E3. Okay but, hold on. So Saints Row 4. Right? Five. No. Twelve. Four. Five. That's on PS4, right? Four is on PS4, yes. yes. Four that released on PS4. So we need to play that. There's only two people at a time. Damn it! This is the best my knowledge. <laughs> uh, I, I, think like, I think it's co op. I think it's two player co op. You can look at it, but. Do you know how much like shenanigans that will happen in that game? The only thing I remember from you and I playing on <laughs> Xbox 360 is the insurance fraud and we were flipping <laughs> halfway across the city. What about insurance fraud? Of that fucking game. In in Saints Row Four, you were able to do insurance fraud, which you would throw yourself in front of cars. But it got really ridiculous to the point where you can get catapulted really hard and fly halfway across the city, flipping in the air. It got to the point where Aki and I kept like getting hit so hard that we would literally pass each other as we're flipping through the air, and we would hit the fucking floor, and we would just say, "Hold up, hold up, I'm coming back, I'm coming back." And then like you would jump or flop in front of a car, a speeding car, and it would just catapult your ass to the act like opposite end of the map. My which God. was awesome. <laughs> that couple was superpowers. Uh, <laughs> that's probably the reason why they decided to make uh, make this one. It's supposed to be another game with superpowers or super abilities or some random shit. Um, I don't know. But like I said, every, everyone's talking about this is what's happening at E3. So we don't know exactly what to expect out of E3 outside of these announcements. Um, well, I have a couple of things I'm excited for. What uh, I want to uh, hopefully we can see more gameplay for Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a good push. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Hopefully we can finally see gameplay. And there's rumblings that there's going to be a new God of War. Yeah, I think I talked there about is. that at one point. Yeah, yeah, we talked about 
Well, maybe it was the Mass Effect thing, because um, that was being held for a discussion. There was some hinted gameplay that was being leaked um, for Mass Effect. It showed some gameplay. It was mostly, like, cutscenes. Mm-hmm. But um, I remember that we did talk about the God of War and how it might be based off of Nord. Nordic? Yes. Mythology. Mm-hmm. That was rumors, though. Nothing else has, like, come from that, though. Mm-hmm. I've never heard anything else. I really want to see what Sucker Punch is doing, because they've been extremely quiet since uh, First Light and Second Sun have been, were released. Um, there are rumors that they're working on another Spider-Man game. If they are, I'm interested in seeing where that's going to go. If it's going to be... It, it has to be PlayStation exclusive, since uh, a company owned by Sony is making it. That's the only thing that makes sense. Um... And if not, what are they? What the hell are they doing? Because Sucker Punch has become, with Infamous, one of my favorite developers. Um, other than that, I do want. Uh, my biggest thing is I want to see if these hardware rumors are actually true. Um, <clears throat> I kind of talked about that. I uh, what two podcasts ago, where um, both Sony and Microsoft were supposed to be releasing um, alternate versions of their co- uh, of their consoles, Microsoft. Supposedly releasing a slim version, which I suppose is a bit, little bit for, uh, a little bit closer to reality in my head, and Sony apparently releasing a stronger version of the PS4. Microsoft apparently announcing a stronger version of the Xbox One. Um, I want to see if that's really true. So I guess if any, if all the rumors or anything like that that I've, that I've heard, <clears throat> those are the ones that kind of spark my interest the most. Um, other than that, like I said, if if uh, the Last Guardian gets a release date, I'm getting shit face drunk regardless of what I have to do the next day. Well, actually, no, I probably shouldn't do that. I, have, I do have a job that I want, that I want to keep. Yeah, you um, probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> just but saying. eventually, I'm going to get I'm going to get shit face drunk if The Last Guardian gets a solid release date. Like, it is going to be released April, not April. Well, yeah, April 22nd next year. Or it's going to be released on a specific day at a specific time and not a time frame. Because I feel like <clears> it's impossible. <laughs> 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 they had that one trailer at E3 last year, and we have heard nothing about it since. You said you were talking about what? Uh, they, uh, Last Guardian got showed last oh, year. Oh, yeah. And nothing else happened. Well, I just wanted to let you know it was still alive. <sighs> yeah, okay. Kind of like that tech demo you got like a long time ago for Final Fantasy VII. I told everybody that was still that was in development and nobody wanted to believe like, oh, me. No, we're not doing anything. Nope, nope. We're just focusing on Kingdom Hearts and uh, 13. And uh, here's surprise, motherfuckers, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Out. And uh, piggyback off of that, in your Vita news, the world of Final Fantasy. That little chibi game that yeah. they were talking about that's coming out play, uh, PlayStation 4 and PS Vita this this year. It's PS4 as well? <clears throat> oh, I'm yeah, 4 and Vita, October 25th this year. <gasps> yeah. That is one well, month kind of after. Just because it's like, I like kind of anniversary games like that. That's a f- couple of weeks after 15 comes out. Yeah, well, you should be done with it by then. Nope. Yeah, you should be done with by this. Part of the Red Boot Clan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what that is. No, um, their no, shoes are red at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, their shoes are red at the bottom, which is kind of like, not necessarily homage or paying contribute to Louis Vuitton, but... Um, uh, of course it is. <laughs> red bottom shoes. But I mean... Lightning did a commercial for... Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Keeps her grounded. I really want this collection edition of Zero, Horizon Zero. Son of a bitch! This this person over here doing puns. I, whatever. <laughs> Are we going to get Scott on the phone? Um, because apparently him. he he has a lot of stuff he want to talk about. Just call him. I think I'm going to call, call him, him and put him on speaker. Okay. Hey, pick up your phone, fool. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Scott. Uh-huh. Say hi to the people. Oh, what's up, people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we are talking about E3 stuff. You have opinions, do you not? E3! Speak, Scott! Hi! have ideas of what I think should happen and who I'm excited to hear speak. Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of stuff, so that's what you're talking about. 
spill the beans, sir. All right. Well, first, I'm going to talk about what I think is going to be announced. I think we're going to get release dates for Tekken. Um, don't don't go for get. <laughs> I think we're going to get a release date for Mass Effect Andromeda uh, and gameplay for Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I think we're going to get surprise announcements from Naughty Dog, whether it be Uncharted, not Uncharted 4, <laughs> whether it be uh, The Last of Us 2 or The Return of Crash Bandicoot. Um, oh or I got a, a kind of a feeling that too. Jack and Dexter might get announced too, but that's really, really small. Um, Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> they might announce another Infamous or that secretive Spider-Man game that Sucker Punch might be working on. They what did I say? Be working on. Uh, but that's it for predictions, really. We might get some random like games that nobody saw coming. Legend, like of, year, Legend of Dragoon yeah. 2, right, Scott? And King of Hearts 3. <laughs> you hear Vox. And Shinmu 3. Oh, we're going to get more news about Shinmu, of course. Kingdom Hearts has been delayed uh, until 2018. Scott, let's see. Yo. Did you heard me when I said Legend of Dragon 2 is going to be announced, right? <laughs> Dude, don't you dare get my hopes <laughs> <laughs> This ain't, this don't come good. It says it might be another Dragon Dance right now. What? Even if they say, hey, we're going to so, okay. hey, do an HD remake of Legend of Dragon, I'll lose my shit. Yes. <laughs> I'd buy it. Oh, man. I'm wondering why. Can... Sorry for cutting you off. I'm wondering why they randomly decided to release Kinetica on on, on a PSN. I don't know, because they're that's, stupid. That's a weird, like, it's so cult, it's ridiculous. So I, like, that one was an odd move. I loved it. I mean, st- but still. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, they're going to give us news about Tomb Raider's uh, PS4 version. Yes. Uh, I'm excited to see what Microsoft has to say because after taking so many L's, I think they need a W. That's where the stronger system comes in. Oh my God, they'll be able to use the Oculus well, Man. See, I hope they say something <laughs> awesome, but not announce. Hey, man, we got a, a Xbox One version two.